Anne Marie, what is the reaction of the Women's Association to yesterday's news that the morning after pill will now be available over the counter? Well, we're very, very happy about it. It has been hard work that's been going in the background. We've been working with uh, the GHA uh, quite a lot on many issues, and this is one more that we've been working on, uh, that the woman has a choice and the choice is available for her. That uh, on its own, it's not good enough. So there are two other things we want them to do. And one of those is the need for better sex education. Yes, better sex education and relationships in the schools. Remember the sex education that we receive is very old. It's not taught in primary school either. In England in March of this year they had a review and uh, what the Women Association want is for our education system here to pick up from the UK one where sex education and relationships are spoken about in primary and secondary. So, What's the importance of that? Spell it out for us. Uh, it's important because remember that now uh, we have advanced to online, for example, there's more pornography available, etc. So people need to be, we need to stop the taboo about it and talk about it as normal and, and make our own decisions, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, too much information is not bad, it's how you teach it and how it comes across. But if you are uh, scared to talk about uh, sex education and relationships, then obviously, you know, it, you become very close-minded and this is what we want. We want our education system to follow like UK, that they're open and honest about sexual education, relationships and how that can affect and will affect uh, our kids now or in the future. And the other thing is the need for sexual health clinics? Exactly. I mean, it's all well and good to, to provide this contraception uh, morning after pill uh, in the pharmacies, which is very good and it gives a woman the choice, but it doesn't work on its own. It has to work hand in hand with everything else. So it works hand in hand with sex education. So, you know, we all know and are informed and not, you know, believe in the old wife's tales and things like that. But also we need the, the sex clinics and Gibraltar is very small. So I know that uh, Dr. Krishna uh, and Neil Costa are working very hard to try and bring that into play but the taboo has to stop you know uh, we're we're all adults and we know how everything works let's talk about it freely and then let people make their own decisions um, do you perceive that there's a need in Gibraltar for this change uh, to, to make that morning after pill more readily available? Yes, uh, quite, <laughs> quite important because we know of a lot of local women who have gone into Spain to have abortions and we're talking about teenagers and older women, you know, it's there. We pretend it's not there but it is there. People do go over and have abortion because they made a mistake and this is what people understand, have to understand that the morning after pill is... But abortions and the morning after pill are two separate things, aren't they? They're very separate and very different, let's not confuse it. Morning after pill is a, a way to stop you getting pregnant in the sense that if you know that the condom broke, if you know that you forgot the pill two or three days and you've had sex and unprotected sex, then why not? You know, go for the morning after pill and it prevents you getting unwanted pregnancies which that leads you to go and have an abortion. And because we don't have statistics here, we don't know how many are going over for abortions. We only hear about it from our own members who let us know, you know. But other than that, and then we hear that it's because they couldn't get the morning after pill. Now, that's why we know it will work and the statistics will go down uh, in that way. But without everything else, it's no good. Because if you don't know about the morning after pill and how it will affect you or not affect you and you hear all the negativity or too much positivity because you also have some people who think that they'll have no other contraception then they'll just have the morning after pill which one is very expensive way of contraception and two, you know, that it doesn't prevent. We've got to understand it. It doesn't prevent you getting pregnant all the time. You have to make sure that you have it as it is, an emergency contraception, readily available for those who wish. There are, look, we know that nowadays there are even women who don't want to use contraception. But the important thing here is they have a choice. They have a choice to use and not to use, and you know, without the taboo attached to it.